You know, I never got your story. Why did you become a cop? When I was 12, my old man went off to my mother with a bottle and I got in the way. I tried to save her, but he tied me to the radiator. Oh my god, that's terrible. What a bastard. I watched that man beat my mother to death with a tire iron. He left me there for dead too. Three days later, a truant officer found us. Shame, man. Do you like being a cop? Because you shone all the ropes. I used to like it. Now it's all strong arm sitting duck stuff. But if I had the chance to work in homicide, like a real detective. You'll get that chance. Look at all these years that you've been in the force. You'll make homicide. I'm not a detective. I'm not smart enough. I'm just the guy they send in to scare all the other guys shitless. That's not true. You've got seniority. They have to promote you. You are the department veteran. I'm just a thug on the right side of the law. Hey everyone. My name is Nikki and I'm an alcoholic. Uh, this week didn't go so well for me. I fell off the wagon and I binged and I just went there. Full emotion, full indulgence, for no good reason. Just all my old shit resurfacing. The self-loathing, the self-pity, the need to escape from me. Valerie, do you have to talk to every man that you see? They know me. They just want to say hi. Why does it matter? It matters because they're flirting with you. And when you talk to them, then you're flirting too. Victor, relax. I'm not flirting with them. I've been at this club long before we met. I've got old acquaintances. And how many of them have you slept with? Victor, I'm not some tramp. And how dare you accuse me of being unfaithful? Then show me some loyalty, some respect. You've been with everyone else here this evening but me. It's just nice to be acknowledged when I'm all dressed up. Any woman wants that. I know you have a past with Ben Johnson. And a present. I forbid you to see him. Darling, Ben's just a friend. And you can't forbid me to do anything. I can leave you if you do. Tell us what happened. I was taking my little sister to the Mug and Bean to get us takeaway lattes. It was her birthday the day before. This guy rushed in, waving a gun in the air, wearing a black mask. What did he say? He was shouting something in, in Arabic. And everybody froze. He made two of the people hold a flag against the window like he was from ISIS or something. And then what? Then... Then he gathered us all. Sheeping us into a corner like we were hostages. Did he take your phones? No. It was as if he wanted us to take photos and record everything for social media. Were you afraid? Some people, some people were screaming. Others were shaking. I think we were all, we were all in shock. How did you escape? The cook. He opened the back door for us in the kitchen. But as we ran out, he got shot in the head. And then my little sister got shot too. It was terrible. I still can't believe it.